I want to talk about the advantages of using acrylic paints with oil pastels. I'll get to that in a moment. First, let's start painting and see how to use them together. The first thing I do is to make sure that my acrylic paint is thin enough so that it goes smoothly and thinly on my paper. I don't want any texture or any clumps. I want a really thin, flat layer of paint. So what you'll see me do is to block off really large areas of colors, uniform colors usually. It's basically painting a flat background so that my oil pastels can go on top. So here with the paint, I barely put any details. It's really uniform colors. I typically choose colors that I wouldn't have in my oil pastel color collection. This way it's gonna help create more depth in my drawing and more rich colors because it's a new shade that I don't have. Typically, but not always, I'll try to use mid-tone, so like not too dark of a green, let's say, or not too light of a green, but kind of like somewhere in the middle. And once that's done, I let the paint dry. It's really important to let the paint fully dry before putting oil pastel on top. And not only that, but once oil pastel goes on top of acrylic, no more acrylic paint will be added on top of oil pastel. If I were to add acrylic paint on top of oil pastel, the paint would basically be removable and peelable so easily because oil pastels don't fully dry. They kind of harden with time, but they're always movable and scratchable. So the rule is acrylic paint underneath as a background and then no more acrylic paint. And like I said, there are many advantages to using acrylic paint in combination with oil pastels. One of which is that it prevents oil pastels from being very muddy. Layering a lot of oil pastels colors can get tricky and the more you layer, the more muddy the colors tend to get and kind of blend together into kind of a grayish or more muted color. It's especially true when you use more affordable oil pastels. The creamier, more expensive ones go um, on top a little bit better. But even so, there's a limit to that. After three layers, things get a little bit more tricky. So by using a background of acrylic paint, you don't have to use as many layers of oil pastel and you prevent that muddiness that can happen. Also, when it comes to color selection, it could be a bit limiting with oil pastels. So having those mid-tone colors in acrylic can really help give that richness in a final painting. If you want to work on a larger format, acrylic paints is ideal to cover big areas and then you can go on top with oil pastels and create that oil pastel texture. And if you're an artist and you use only Sennelier or super expensive oil pastels, using acrylic paint as a background is a way to save a little bit of money. Acrylic paints can be expensive but not as expensive as the professional oil pastels. Paints cover a much larger surface than oil pastels, so in that sense, it could be useful. And if there's a large area of black on a drawing, I always use black paint, black acrylic paint, to cover that area and put oil pastels on top. I find that black oil pastel is super messy, crumbs go everywhere, it dirties the lighter shades, it's impossible to get rid of. Usually I use my black at the very end to create textures or depth in certain areas, but I use as little as I can. Just because of that, it creates like crumbs and muddy and it dirties my drawing, I find. I much prefer to use black acrylic paint in the very beginning of my drawing to block off those larger black areas. And that's exactly what I did for my portraits of John Lennon and Paul McCartney. I painted those on large 16 by 20 wood panels and it worked really well. Another way that I use black sometimes is to do a contour drawing, but that can be done in colored pencils or with a pen if you want to have that contour line depending on what kind of style you're going for or your subject.
and obviously with a thin contour line when I go to put my oil pastel colors it's always gonna kind of overlap but when that happens all I do is use a skewer to scratch it off and then I reveal my contour again and if ever you want tips on how to erase oil pastels I made a video about it different ways that you can kind of fix mistakes I'll link that at the end for you if you're curious and when I use acrylic paints on paper, with or without oil pastels, I make sure that it's a paper that's thick enough. I would say 300 GSM and more, like a thick paper is ideal. I find that watercolor paper works really well. It can take acrylic paints and the grit of the paper takes oil pastel as well. I love using acrylic paints and oil pastels together because I find that I get the best of both worlds. I can cover large areas super fast with paint and then put textures where I want it, that unique texture that you only get with oil pastel. And when it comes to texture, it's also nice to vary the textures. So maybe having the sky be only acrylic paint, kind of like a flat, uniform sky and then putting more texture with oil pastels in other areas and have that contrast of minimal texture versus a lot of texture it could be a super interesting choice and if you want a couple acrylic paint tips you can watch this one as well as how to erase oil pastel